Hi guys, welcome back to another boxing list video. In today's video, I'll be looking at 10 heavyweights that are 30 or under who have the potential to become the next world champion. The heavyweight division has really been dominated in recent years by the likes of Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. But now that they are in their 30s, it'll be interesting to see how much longer they can continue to box at the highest level. I still believe the likes of Fury and Joshua could dominate for years to come, but that's not to say we could get another upcoming heavyweight to potentially challenge them soon. I've based this list of boxers who are 30 or under from when I published this video. It's also based off current activity, achievements and their record to date when I first published this. Some of the fighters are yet to have a real challenge at heavyweight, but I wouldn't be surprised if many of them end up putting themselves in a good position soon. So on that note, let's get right into it. Number 1. Jared Anderson The youngest on this list at 21 is the young American heavyweight Jared Big Baby Anderson, who is currently fighting under the top ranked banner. As an amateur, he put on some convincing displays which won him the 2017 and 2018 US National Championships. So far, he has a 100% KO record and definitely looks like a prospect that has the potential to one day challenge or even win a world title. He's still very young, but he's definitely one to keep an eye out over the next few years. Number 2. Daniel Dubois Dynamite Daniel Dubois is probably regarded as one of the greatest potentials on this list to eventually get a shot or win a world title. As an amateur, he was a five-time national junior titleist and British champion. Since turning pro at 19, he has blasted through his opponents and is known for his incredible punching power with a current 94% KO percentage. His only defeat to date came at the hands of Joe Joyce, where repeated and accurate jabs from Joyce caused Dubois' eye to swell, causing him to eventually to take the knee and be counted out by the ref. Although this was a huge disappointment for him, it was also a massive learning curve. I believe this will only help Dubois as he gets into the next part of his career. Number 3. Fabio Wardley Another young British heavyweight who still has much potential is of course Fabio Wardley. Having defeated some relatively known former contenders including former Wilder opponent Eric Molina, Wardley has continued to deliver the goods when it comes to stepping up in opposition. I think Wardley definitely has the potential one day to challenge and is a dark horse in this list. I'm really looking forward to see where his career will go in the next few years. Number 4. Effie Ajagba The Nigerian is another favourite on this list and without a doubt has the potential to go all the way in the heavyweight division. As an amateur boxer, he won the gold medal at the 2015 African Games and a bronze at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. He is also known for the fastest victory in boxing history after his opponent was disqualified for leaving the ring in one second. Despite that weird record, he is in fact a very dangerous heavyweight with tremendous KO power. I recommend you check out my slap hook cross technique video to see my analysis on one of his best KOs to date. Number 5. Martin Bacoli At 28, the Congolese boxer still has much potential to eventually push up the heavyweight ranks and challenge for a world title. Bacoli originally turned pro in South Africa before moving to the UK soon after where he quickly started to make a name for himself. He does have some notable names on his record including Wack, Kevin Johnson and Sergei Guzman, with his one defeat coming at the hands of American heavyweight Michael Hunter. He still has a lot to do in my opinion to get to the stage where he's challenging for world titles, but he's definitely proved he can compete against the top contenders in the division. Number 6. Joseph Parker Believe it or not, Joseph Parker is only 29 from when I've posted this list. The New Zealander has in fact already won world title in 2016 against Andy Ruiz Jr. Since then, Parker has really been one of the best in this list in terms of who he has fought. With his only two defeats coming in the hands of Anthony Joshua and Dillian White, I do believe Parker is still young enough and can definitely challenge for a world title again due to his experience. However, he will still need to have another couple of big wins before he gets his chance again. Number 7. Tony Yoka The Frenchman is an Olympic gold medalist from the Rio 26 Olympic Games. 
where he in fact defeated Joe Joyce. Yoka, however, has not really reached the heights of Joyce in the pro game so far, as he's really taken his time since turning pro. He was once compared as the French Anthony Joshua, but so far has certainly not lived up to the hype yet. Training under world-renowned trainer Virgil Hunter, they are clearly taking their time with the former Olympic champion, but at 29 now they need to start moving him along quicker, or he could be left wondering what could have been. Filip Pergovic the Croatian heavyweight has a hard-hitting and meanness streak to him, which makes me think he will get an opportunity one day. Finishing with the bronze medal at the 2016 Olympic Games, where he was actually defeated by Tony Yoka, he for me has looked far more impressive since turning professional. He still needs to fight a big name on his record, but maybe a fight against the likes of Michael Hunter, or even a rematch with Tony Yoka would be a good option for the Croatian to take him to the next level. Number 9. Frank Sanchez The Cuban heavyweight is definitely one of the most talented boxers on this list, while also training with the highly regarded Tim Canelo and Eddie Reynoso. Having watched him a few times now, I really like his use of good combination punching and setting up traps to take out his opponent. Fairly unknown before joining Tim Canelo, Cuban now has a platform to really excel himself in the years to come. Sanchez is also scheduled to face Efe Ajagba on the undercard of Tyson Fury vs Deontay Wilder 3, who I mentioned earlier on this list, which will be a fascinating contest to see who comes out on top. Number 10. Otto Wallen Finally, we have the Swede Otto Wallen. He really became known after his fight with Tyson Fury, where he really ended up giving him his toughest fight to date with maybe some dirty tactics thrown in there too. Swedish Southpaw star proved he can challenge with the best with his most recent win over Dominic Brazil. I believe that he can put his hand up to compete against a world title again, if he gets some more notable names on his record and the opportunity arises. And that wraps up this list guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below who you think will challenge for a world heavyweight title in the next few years. Personally I think the likes of Dubois, Jagba or Sanchez look very promising to me. As always guys, thanks so much for all the support recently, it really means a lot. Make sure to hit that like button, it really helps out the channel, and if you're new here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.